if you ain't gonna give up your asshole, you're not getting to the next level. We're not gonna play dumb around here. This, these niggas made it clear. The nigga said the only thing that he wanted to do was to protect his asshole. Answer your first stand up. You had 20, it cost you 22,000. You had 25 to your name. Yeah. Why, why did you decide to do that? In business, the goal is for you to become independent and be the boss, take the responsibility, and also get the profit. Okay. That's all. How, how, how can I be looking for you to put me on if I wouldn't? And if I can't show you what you missed out on, why would you believe me? Now, the fact that I was able to do it 12 times. That's the real thing. The, thing. the part that I'm able to do it all across the country. The fact that every time I do a tour or a special, you think, well, that's sponsored by somebody. Somebody did a good job. You know? Just, just the guy looking around. Just the one that might mentally not be all there. He's the one picking the outfits, writing this guy's material, booking the shows, making sure he gets there. He's the one hiring other comedians. He's... But hey, I knew that that's the end goal. So if that's the end goal, and I'm there when I start, why would I deviate from that? Right. Remember, I... I, I, I I, my goal was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole <laughs> and I never have sucked a penis. That was my only goal. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, he didn't even want to buy it. And you got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipt for everything I'm telling you. That's why I just said so You hear it. Thank you. Thank you. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... Can't. Man. It's crazy. You find answer first stand up. So damn. Oh, my bad. My uh mic was muted. Oh, I said, dang, I I didn't know my mic was muted. Uh this is well, it don't even matter. Let's see what uh Hassan Kemba gotta say about Charleston White. I didn't know that my mic was muted. P Diddy trying to smash niggas. He's a gatekeeper in the music industry and in Hollywood too. Think about it. Wise words from the man. Get money and stay out of the way. 2024, start off right. Let me tell you something, man. Keep exposing the truth, Mike Green. I'm going to keep it all the way funky with y'all, man. Some of y'all watching me right now, 2024 going to be the worst year of your life. Mm -hmm. Shit is about to get ugly. I'm not going to be the nigga. Daughter of the most high. Thank you, family. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sponsoring this war. I'm not going to be the nigga that's going to sit up here and lie to y'all. 2024 is going to be a rough year. Why? 2024 gonna be a bad year. Why? Especially for you niggas that refuse to work, but you just going into the studio and making music, and nobody's playing your music, nobody's supporting you. Like y'all dudes, y'all street dudes better wake up, man. I don't want to hear nothing about that. There is no such thing as the streets. The streets is an illusion. What you gotta say about cat? Still celebrating Christmas. What you gotta you say about cat? Baby, I don't want to hear nothing. Going to sleep without praying, speaking, but because we was raped, okay. we are the only creatures that pay to live on Earth. They got you thinking that this technology started. It just started within the last 20 years. It was popping on Facebook. Facebook is little. YouTube is the big stage. Instagram is little. YouTube is the big stage. That's why when I was beefing with niggas that was on Instagram, and they, they thought they was getting their little numbers, and then they would, they would actually watch people around the world watching me destroy them on YouTube on the big TV. I was killing these niggas. So I understand exactly how Cat Williams feel. Jim Jones. You got Jim Jones now. Fab then fell off. Now he looking stupid running around with Mayno and Jim Jones. He don't even fit in with them niggas. He don't even fit in with them. I love, I, you know what, and the, the crazy part. Okay, I thought he was gonna say more. Hold on, let me see something. Why is it that when I did that five hour interview with his material, booking the show, making sure he gets there, he's the one hiring other comedians, he's, but hey. Thank you for sponsoring this war, which I wasn't paying attention to me. It's a door, which I wasn't paying attention I thought it was a game. Everybody was in denial, you know the truth is gonna set you free, man. I told y'all. See, they never freed the slaves. They just made the plantation bigger. That's what we are. America is a corporation slash plantation, and you a working slave. And see, the entertainers became the house Negroes. The buck breaking ain't never stop. The buck breaking ain't never stop. Never, ever, ever, ever. Nope. Nope. That nigga cat shook the internet. See, the funny part about it is, some of y'all so slow, niggas gotta slow down so y'all can catch up. He spoke about the niggas in Hollywood with them dresses, but you notice he ain't get into the rappers? Well, watch when niggas get into their feelings. Watch how niggas get into their feelings, watch. Look, look at this old dusty nigga looking like, looking like somebody's stink grandmother. Tell me Trick Daddy, I love Trick Daddy, but you looking like somebody's grandmother right now. You look like somebody's ugly grandmother right now, Trick Daddy. 
Ken Williams, Dylan Puss ass, get on, 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 on the shop show and just, and just get it on the bitch ass. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Though. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, I think somebody said that. Well, I think he suffered from, from something. So if he suffered from, from something, then I'm not going to. Speak on that. I'm gonna let you do cat like that. I'm sorry, Trick. I like you. I like the back in the days when the, the one that's healthy, because the one that's sitting on camera right now is sick. That's why you cooking, and you sick because of your cooking. All the salt, all the meat, all the sugar. Get your life together, little nigga. You can break down somebody else's life, but you can't get your life together, little nigga. Get it together. You ain't got no kids. You ain't got no woman. All you doing is just whacking off, right? You built for the industry. NYC dollar vans. Speaking of slaves, Cat Williams said about Jonathan Majors was too real. Hell yeah, that was too real. Hell yeah, that was too real. I'm loving this. See, this my this shit right here, it's never gonna get old. Cause every time you see a new star, the question you're gonna ask is that he compromised his asshole. The Mon the Mon film, thank you for sponsoring this war, family. Hit him in the head with the oh shit. Y'all see my people's in here sponsoring this war, huh? You went sideways cause you talked about this, you went sideways, nigga. My people rock with me. That's trying to get my people to I'm gonna set this internet on fire tonight. The jig is up. They cast a spell on our community. They done hit us with everything but the kitchen sink. Crack. I do want to give you a little information. All you guys who thinking of coming out of here, thinking you gonna make it, your asshole must be sacrificed. <laughs> You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it, homie. If you ain't coming out of here to ride cowboy style at these parties. The Illuminati, that's it. They approach me. Hey, man, these motherfuckers think it's a joke. Gay Hollywood. What part y'all don't understand? Take the what and leave the what? Take the bag and leave your butthole. <laughs> That's the slogan. <laughs> well, we gotta put it on shirts. You take the bag and leave your butthole. Okay. The truth is coming out. You can't. It been out. Everybody knew about this already. Serve two masters. Why did God destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because that was an act that was forbidden. You think it's coincidental that all of these dudes, like, I know how they got on y'all nerves. Playing the same old stuff over and over and over again. And I love it. Oh, I love it. Come on, man. Y'all act like I don't be hearing. When you're getting certain levels and you're going up, somebody come see you. The door. The door. Well, I think that's about it. So, salute to y'all, man. Y'all leave a comment down below. Hassan Campbell goes crazy over the Cat Williams interview on Club Station. It's your boy, DMD. Signing out.